Hi, it's Deborah Wayne, founder of the Biofield Healing Institute. I wanted to share another Ask Deborah Anything question that came in over the email recently. And it comes uh, from a woman who said that I've been married for 24 years and I've reached the conclusion about 10 years ago that I married my mother. I'm very independent and resourceful and I had to be all my life to survive basic emotional neglect from my mother and emotional and verbal abuse from my husband. He's trying to work on himself but I'm stuck in anxiety and I feel energy being drained out of me whenever I enter the room that he's in. I feel overwhelmed and stuck in life. I haven't done anything that I'm really me meant to do or that I really want to do. I just work every day to pay the bills. I've raised our kids as best I could. I have thyroid issues, IBS that comes and goes. I'm never confident in who I am. I feel sad inside and so stuck carrying around so much emotional baggage and I don't know how to get rid of it. Hopefully you can feel what I'm going through. My heart goes out to you. Thank you for sending that in. And no, you are not alone. I myself have been in a similar situation and certainly felt like I didn't know what I was doing with my life, where I was going, stuck in emotions, drained by everybody I was around, and thinking that everybody got the handbook to life except me. So believe me, I feel for you. And I've also, I know my, my pain-free living program is filled with people that would relate to this, to your situation and your um, feelings. So believe me, you're not alone. And, you know, it's, it's a compl complex issue, but the main thing I want to impress upon you or anyone listening that's suffering from something similar is you're not stuck. You think you're stuck, but you're not stuck. What you have is what everyone has. You have certain habits of thinking, certain habits of emotional reactions, certain habits of choices that you make every single day. Your choices, your life are based. They, your choices come from your thinking habits and your emotional habits. And you were programmed as a young child. You were conditioned with certain ideas. They probably they weren't even yours. <laughs> you learned the, these things by the environment that you're soaking in as a child. So if there was abuse or neglect or criticism, um, you know, if you were in an environment where even the people you were around were anxious, or there was addiction or uh, pain of some kind, you probably felt all of that and couldn't make sense of any of that. This is very common. And your brain is not designed at a young age to figure this all out. And then you fast forward to many years later, the problem is, is you learned how to compensate as a child. You learned how to navigate really rough waters. That's why you're still alive and here today writing me this question. Yes, you have symptoms, but you're a survivor. You actually, a part of you figured out how to navigate a terrible situation that was very painful and that you didn't understand. And the only reason that you're here today writing to me is because another part of you knows that it shouldn't be this way and it doesn't have to be this way. And congratulations that you, you didn't give up. You didn't just say, oh, this is how life is and, and stay stuck as a victim. You're still seeking answers, which bravo to you, because life is not supposed to be that way and you're not a victim. And the pain is always trying to tell us something. It's always an indicator, whatever type of pain, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, financial, relationship, the pain symptoms are showing us we're out of alignment somewhere with our true nature or our true life path or our best path. And often, you know, this is, again, I could speak for hours about this. It's not a simple answer I can give you in two minutes or less. 
But just to touch on a couple factors of this, um, many, many times I find that I and the people I've worked with all over the country, <laughs> all over the world, we misinterpret, we easily misinterpret what people s mean by what they say or do. I used to be the type of person that if you looked at me funny, I thought I did something wrong. If my parents were fighting when I was a child, I thought I caused it. And I lived like that with those types of misinterpretations and never checked it out. I lived that way for many, many, many years until my pain got so great that I was forced to look at myself and my thinking and my emotions and unwind and unravel this whole ball of string that had gotten very complicated and where I felt stuck, just like the woman that's written in here. Once I started to understand the belief systems I had in place, the emotional reactions that went, were on autopilot, and I realized and was shown by my mentor that I had choices. I could change my thinking. I could change my emotional reactions and that I wasn't a victim. Wow, it opened up an entirely new world. I, I was free. I, I got the get out of jail card free. That's why I say you're not stuck. No one has shown you yet how to go deep enough to examine the beliefs and the emotions that are happening unconsciously. The minute you're in the room with your husband and you feel drained, I guarantee you there's emotions and beliefs the way you're thinking is affecting you. And these are often boundary issues. When there's abuse early in life, we often later on discover that we didn't develop firm or strong boundaries. Maybe we didn't develop boundaries at all. When a big person steps on us in some way, we may have not developed any boundaries. And those come in handy. You know, the ability to say no, the ability to know where we end and someone else begins, the ability to stand up for ourselves, to have a voice. This, these are important things that many of us didn't learn in early childhood, but it's never too late. I love the saying, it's never too late to, it's never too late to have a happy childhood and to start it over again. You really, it's never too late. So there are reasons why you're feeling drained and you have the ability to change that. And you're leaking your power away. You're giving your power away to people, places, things, events, but you're doing it unconsciously. So I can show you how to change that. That's what we do in my pain-free living program every week. We work on a new tool to find and remove the false beliefs that are running the show and that are causing us to misinterpret. And then we find and remove the emotions that we shove down and we suppress and repress and deny or we judge. We judge certain emotions as bad and wrong and then we feel horrible for having anger or fear or guilt or shame or whatever it is. So we find those emotions and we release them. I show you techniques for releasing emotions so you're not carrying them around and they don't have a chance to turn into pain symptoms, which is what they do. False beliefs and emotional pain turns into a symptom of some kind of pain, suffering, and dis-ease. And it's all changeable once you have the proper tools. I also speed up help you speed up the entire healing and awareness process using the biofield healing immersion method. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life, to be able to facilitate a method of healing, whether you're right in front of me or 2,000 miles away, over the internet, over a phone line, it doesn't matter. It works at a, remotely at a distance or in person. It works for one-on-one -on -one, and it works for groups of thousands of people at one time. And if you'd like to experience this for yourself and learn more about how to find and remove these hidden reasons that are at the root of pain and suffering and feeling like you're overwhelmed or anxious or stuck or abused or can't stand up for yourself and don't know what where you're headed in life. This can all change. I've seen it again and again in my own life and with thousands of people that I've worked with 
I, I'd love to have the privilege to help you also. There's a link below. Click on that link and download the MP3 immediately. Listen and do the exercise that's in there and experience the demonstration session of biofield healing immersion. You won't regret it. Many people from just a demo and just from the information you'll find below have healing and start to live pain-free. They experience it. It's not me trying to convince you. They experience it for themselves. You can read tons of testimonials and great success stories on my website, and I'd love to add you to that list. So please take my hand, let me help you. Click the link below and reach out to me with an email or a question of your own. Um, check out all the options. It would be a real pleasure to help you get unstuck. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for listening. Come back soon and bye for now.